what makes makeup so important is that it's part of the lasting memory of your wedding. Um, it's part of your photographs and it's going to be gone in a heartbeat. So, and people want to look back, you know, years from their wedding and remember that they look their best. Hi, Laura. Congratulations. Hi. It's your big day. Thank you. <laughs> So how are you feeling today? Excited. Good, good. Well, it's amazing. Let's move your hair back here. The bride, her bridesmaids, uh, any of the women who desire makeup, mother of the bride, mother-in-law-to-be, grandmothers, um, flower girls. I've done makeup on the groom, um, some of the best men. Um, whoever wants to have a polished look and look their best. But I like to give the bride the most amount of my time, which is typically up to an hour. Makeup can be done anywhere that's convenient for the bride, if they're in a hotel preparing for their day, um, if they're in their home or a family home, um, that's usually where I'll be. Any coloring that's done to the hair, cutting, you want to have that done prior to your wedding day. If you're going to be married outside, I would do the makeup in as much daylight as possible. Maybe something, a light color, you know, either a light pastel or maybe an off-white color that might be similar to um, the light that would reflect off her wedding gown. A smoky look to me means a dark, darker um, shadow on the lid and in the crease of the eye. If you have got a lot of color, and um, emphasis on the eyes, you probably want to balance that with a lighter look on the lip. And the reverse is true. Okay, we're going to even out your skin tone a little bit with the liquid foundation, which I'm applying with a brush. Typically on darker skin, um, they can wear a lot more color. Makeup can often be done uh, several times in various uh, cultures throughout the wedding ceremony day. Rather than waxing, um, people will get threaded, um, which is a form of hair removal that's popular in the Middle East. It might involve getting a facial. Um, I wouldn't get one um, any less than a week before the wedding. You don't want to have had waxed or threaded um, or tweezed your face too close to that time. So if it is an outdoor event, it's, it's wise to think about putting a little higher SPF on. You're with your bride in those photos and she looks incredible. She's been touched up. And, um, you know, just to have a little touch up on the groom is uh, perfectly appropriate and I think desirable so that you both have that polished, um, perfected look on that day. Uh, an esthetician is trained at a school that uh, offers training for uh, typically estheticians and cosmetologists. The makeup artist going to the destination, they may charge so much per mile. I always prefer to do a trial run for a bride, so a quote I may give her um, would be a lesser price for the trial. I've also done it as little as a couple days before the wedding. If you know I'm just meeting someone and um, there isn't time to do it far enough at head. Sometimes people do very formal pictures for their engagement, but the trend tends to be to do something very fun and casual, and they might not have makeup on. Certainly accent colors can be brought in. The theme of the wedding, if there is a certain color theme, um, can be brought into the makeup. Sometimes people will want to hire their makeup artist to be there, you know, hire them for an hourly rate to just be on hand to touch them up if they think they're just going to start bawling on their wedding day. You know, typically people who think they're going to cry, they really, they end up not because they're so, I think, uh, focusing on their vows. Um, I think they're all looking at the same magazines, actually. Um, you know, they may come to me and say, you know what J-Lo was wearing at the Oscars? And it's kind of my job to know what she was wearing and how she had her makeup done, because they might want that look. <laughs> Maybe educate your makeup artist if they're not up on something that um, you thought of or you had seen. 
Um, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. Doing weddings of different ethnicities and East Indian weddings are really a lot of fun to do. They're very colorful um, and the makeup is often coordinated with their dress. So now I'm applying a lipstick to Lara's look. And also I'm layering three products here. Well, four actually. There's the lip moisturizer we started with. There's the lip liner, this lipstick, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of a gloss on top. Okay, Laura, your look is complete. If yeah. you wanna take a look and tell me what you think. If, oh, it looks great. Is there anything you want me to? Oh, it looks beautiful. You're Jay? amazing. Terrific. Jay's gonna be very happy. Great. Well, now we can see you next in your wedding dress. <laughs> Just finish lacing you up here. I'm just gonna set this in there. So we can go downstairs now if you're ready.